Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and today we find ourselves in 352.12. Last Friday, we were in 352.10, which is the uses permitted for your conduits and your cables. Whether you're dealing with NM cable, Romex, Article 334, or you're dealing with EMT or flat cable or tray cable or all these other types of cable and conduit, you can find all kinds of useful information inside of that specific article. Today we're picking back up in rigid PVC, talking about Schedule 40 and Schedule 80. And on Friday, in the last video, if you want to check it out on the video tab, we covered the uses permitted. And we found out that PVC conduit is one of the most versatile um, you know, conduits that there is in the game. You can use it in tons of different places, and I'll let you go watch that video. Let me see if I can get my, my camera straight here. Hopefully it's not looking like we're riding on a boat this morning. So with that being said, I want to cover 330, uh, 352.12. Anytime you're in a dot .12 section of a cable or a conduit section, you're going to be dealing with the uses not permitted. Dot 10 is the uses permitted. Dot 12 is the uses not permitted. So let's talk about some places that you are not allowed to use rigid PVC conduit. In uh, part A is hazardous locations. It says in any hazardous location except that those that are permitted by other articles in this code book. You're not allowed to use um, PVC rigid conduit as a support for luminaries. So you're not allowed to use it to prop up a luminary. And if you've ever seen somebody do it, you'll come back and that, you know, that PVC has bent over like this. It's pretty funny, you know, and comical to see. The third one, part C, is where subject to physical damage. You're not allowed to use PVC where subject to physical damage unless it's identified for such use. Now, your Schedule 80s are obviously going to be more capable of handling those type scenarios, but it's always going to be up to you and your electrical inspector to determine what truly is subject to physical damage and subject to severe physical damage. Part D says ambient temperatures exceeding 122 degrees Fahrenheit unless the conduit is listed to exceed 122 degrees Fahrenheit. You're not allowed to use it in theaters and similar locations. So this is a really important one that we want to pay attention to. You're not allowed to use PVC rigid conduit in theaters or similar areas. Keep that in mind. And that's it. That's it for the uses not permitted for Article 352, which is Schedule 40 and Schedule 80 rigid PVC. Now, if you're out in the field, you're used to saying, you know, rigid being RMC, um, you know, rigid metal conduit. But technically, uh, rigid PVC is also a rigid type pipe. So we're talking about Schedule 40 and Schedule 80 uh, polyvinyl chloride PVC. Now, there are other conduits that are going to be made up of polyvinyl chloride, but we've been talking about the rigid type, which is in Article 352. Highly encourage you to go in there and check it out. You can find the uses permitted, uses not permitted. You can find um, provisions for expansion fittings, how to support and secure. You know, how often do you have to strap that pipe? What if it's two inch? What if it's three inch? Right here in Article 352, it'll tell you exactly those parameters. It'll also talk about expansion characteristics you know and if you've ever done those calculations they're a lot of fun to do talks about how to do splices and taps grounding bushings all of these different things so i really encourage you to check out all of the conduit and cable articles that are in chapter three of the nec i want to let you know that i'm praying for you today and i just want to see you guys win if there's anything that i can do to help you in life or business you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com let's get to it